Hey everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a reaction to, of course, a very tough 13 to 7 loss with the three interceptions, the three turnovers, and the late punch out on Boston Scott, who, by the way, had an absolutely fantastic game. Otherwise, he had 64 yards, really stepping up to match uh, Sanders, who also had 64 yards, but we saw Scott getting the reps at the end because he was the hot back in the second half. Really bringing the energy and laying, obviously, the um, stiff arm on one of their defenders there, which was cool to see, uh, which goes exactly with what my great friend Zach talks about, how strong Boston Scott is for being such a small cat at only 5'6". He really stepped up because you kind of had the three musketeers at the running back position once Sanders came back with ha last week with how well Jordan Howard was playing, and then he goes down with a knee injury, so you're missing one dimension that is a guy that just kind of always runs straight through the tackle box. He's very simplistic. You kind of always know what Howard's going to do running back, but he's obviously still been getting it done, getting 60-something, 70-something yards in his weeks playing, where the Eagles, again, had a total of over 200 rushing yards, so they did fine in the rushing game, again, particularly once the third quarter started and they got going and churning in the second half. In that first half, you had, obviously... A bad interception in the red zone, that's the biggest sin in football. You can't be throwing interceptions in the red zone. And then the one it kind of looked like Kenny Gainwell, I think it was, that ran the rack down the middle, um, didn't really pick up exactly what Hurts wanted. Because if you look at the reaction of the interception down the middle, um, when it was intended for Gainwell there, it looked like Hurts was kind of reacting like the whole quarterback reaction. Like, oh, what happened there? Where the other one, obviously, down the field... Um, I think quarterbacks and really just everybody in general should just realize Xavier McKinney now having his fifth interception of the season, you don't want to be especially attacking him down the field, but attacking him in general. And the Eagles did that to try to get it there, and I believe that was to Reger again. Obviously, uh, he was not able to block it down to not be intercepted either, but that was not a good throw as it was picked off down the field by McKinney. And then the other two interceptions were by Crowder for his first and Holmes for his first for the Giants. But McKinney is clearly somebody you don't want to pick on. And then at the final drive as well, when we can't get the completions, Reger drops the ball. So that's the thing. Hurts had three uh, INTs in this game. He played one of his bad games of the season. That's for damn sure. But he still had 77 rushing yards and figured out a way to battle us into it, even having a bad game, which is the characteristics I really like about Jalen Hurts and have liked since his time in college football. And I'm not even that big of a college football guy, but he's somebody being a guy that got um, transferred from somewhere I always was rooting for to kind of get his career back. And he did in Oklahoma, and that's what earned him the second round pick, albeit we were mad when, he picked, when we picked him because we still had Carson. But now... We've been talking about how good he's been playing in recent weeks. Just because of one off week, I'm not going to revert back. And I didn't really ever attack him like that. But we shouldn't revert back like how we heard at the beginning of the season on the radio to saying about how off he is now. It's just one off week. And then he battled all the way to the end. Should have honestly had, yes, he had three INTs. I admit this was a really bad game for Hurts, who only had nine INTs in his entire 26 games before, who's one of the better quarterbacks at taking care of the ball. He did not do that today. The three interceptions are the biggest reason why other than the drop pass by Jalen Reger, that the Eagles lost his game. But that being said, because of the drop pass by Jalen Reger, our quarterback, after those three INTs, because of his 77 rushing yards, because of his just will and determination that you always see till the end of the game, that you don't even always see in certain quarterbacks, even guys like Baker Mayfield, who was a great higher pick than Jalen Hurts, you don't always see the, it kind of looks like they kind of get themselves out of the game once they're having mistakes. You don't really see that in Jalen Hurts, and that's a great characteristic to see. And the Eagles didn't play a good game today. They honestly didn't. You you have a Giants team that is not a good defensive team whatsoever, and you're able to only score seven points on them. So, I mean, that's not going to be helpful, but the difference of this game was the three picks, but it was also the fact that Hurts battled back and Jalen Reger had a ball go off his helmet and then almost get intercepted where he... Last season, at least, through injuries when he was healthy, still, like Ruben Frank and others wrote about, showed some inkling of maybe being able to be a third receiver and be somebody that can mix in and be consistent there. Well, this season, he's really been off having some very bad timely drops, so that that is starting to kind of throw itself out the window as a, as a good possibility at this point. If he keeps going down this track, you look at Quez Watkins, you made another good catch down the sideline today as Hurts threw it to the outside. 
he's a guy that is weighed higher than Reger by most of our eyes at this point, just because he has a couple of those mixed big plays. Is he in the game as much? No, but that's even more damning to Reger that he's not in the game as much and makes some of those plays. So I'm looking definitely for the rest of the season, if he wants to stay on this team going forward, for a guy like Jalen Reger to play a lot better football. But in this game, they're 26 in total yards, 25th in passing, and 23 in rushing. We took advantage of them rushing-wise, particularly when the second half started. You should have been able to take advantage calling a little bit better passing plays because obviously with Hurts, we know the one thing he's good at is he's been over 50% of most of his games that they put on the broadcast. He can throw accurately. He's not the best at throwing with the zip down the field, and you called a deep play, a slant play down the middle that looked like game rail ran the wrong route, and then you go deep against their best – um, defender back there, that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. The interception that was clearly the most on Jalen Hurst that you have to learn what to do was the red zone interception. You can't be forcing a play in the red zone. You should have just threw that away like he did later in the game, and that would have been the end of that. But this has been a reaction to the Eagles' 13-7 to loss that the rushing game was able to pick it up again. Unfortunately, Boston Scott, with a hell of a game, otherwise got one punched down in the end where he couldn't even see the defender. He came from the side and was able to punch it out. A nice play there by the Giants. And then McKinney had a pick as well as two others for the Giants. you got to stop attacking McKinney there. It's just not a smart thing for any football team to do. And then Jalen Hurts, uh, he didn't play a good game, but he battled to the end. Could have got us the win if Jalen Reger was able to time that catch better. And it just didn't happen. It's the way it is. The Eagles didn't deserve to win this game, but they did battle back in the end and could have won this game if it was for a different result on that play. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been Sports Fan News. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe at the easy-to-use widget up above or at the subscribe button down below. Let's go Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's make a comeback next week as we play the Jets, who are a team that is a very good team to play other New York's team after a downtrodden week before. Hopefully they can take advantage of those Jets at 1 p.m. next Sunday on December 5th. Peace out, everybody, and have a great, safe day.